Good morning. Evelyn McKnight, One Arm University. Let's talk about riding a bike with one hand, one arm. It took me a long time to learn how to ride a bike uh, as a child. I lived in the country on a gravel road. The bike was way too big for me. I lived on a gravel road. Uh, I didn't have neighborhood ch children to encourage me. So it was actually, I was 10 years old by the time that I learned how to ride a bike. But I remember still that first time that I got on the bike and I was rolling down the lane, that feeling of exhilaration, of freedom, of that ability to explore, of adventure. And I've never lost that. I've always had a bit of that feeling whenever I get on a bike. So I really didn't want to lose that part of my life. So we set about figuring out how I could still ride a bike after I lost the use of one arm. Now, losing so much of my body uh, really was Im uh, impactful in my balance, especially on a two-wheel bike. So we had to figure out some way that I could still ride a bike. And I made the decision early on that I was not going to get on a two-wheel bike again. Uh, I know that many people can and do, but for me, having so much of my balance interrupted, I just um, felt that I needed more help and I, it wasn't worth the risk of a fall, and so we looked for other ways. The way that we solved the problem initially was to get training wheels for my existing bike. So a year or two before I lost my arm to amputation, uh, I bought this bike, a very sturdy sand bike, because we still live on gravel roads. And I really enjoyed it. I, I really had fun with it. Uh, but obviously, it's very bulky and heavy. My bike shop dealer suggested that we get adult training wheels for the bike. And so um, he put those on for us, but they are available in several sizes and they can fit, you know, just a standard kind of adult bike. So that really helped me and I was able to maintain balance. It is an electric uh, bike, which that's a whole nother story. I just love that pedal assist. Uh, it helps me get to town to get groceries. I don't have to think about the wind, which in Nebraska you always have to think about the wind. Uh, it's just really, really a nice benefit. So, get started. First you have to get your bike helmet on. And that can be a bit of a challenge. Sometimes uh, it, I have to fumble around with it for a while, but eventually I get it. Or if I don't, I'm often in a parking lot and there's somebody, or a sidewalk, and there's somebody else walking by, and I just say, you know, would you help me with this a minute? And they go click, and they're on their way and they feel good about helping me and I feel good that I can get on my bike. There it is. Uh, you can also look into the mirror of your uh, side view mirror of your car, of a car that's nearby and that can help you. So here we go. I'm gonna take a little stroll down the lane to see how I do this. I rode that sand buggy bike for a couple of years, but as I was enjoying it more and more and riding more into town and doing things like getting a few groceries, doing some errands, I just felt it wasn't as maneuverable enough. It wasn't nimble enough to navigate city streets. So we started thinking about how can I have more maneuverability 
when I want to, to ride city streets and do errands. And just in general, have more comfort. That one was kind of clunky and kind of bouncy. So we looked to the Dutch. We went, uh, coincidentally, about the same time we went on a trip to Amsterdam and were amazed by all of the bikes in Amsterdam, as well as the variety and the functionality and how many different ways that they could ride a bike and configure a bike to get them the purpose that they needed. So we settled on a tricycle, and this is a Dutch tricycle. It's Van Ram. Uh, it is pretty high end. We splurged, and I feel so wonderful whenever I ride this. Um, so it's a tricycle. It is lower to the ground than my previous one. Um, it has very good stability, but yet it's pretty maneuverable. Um, it has very comfortable seat. You can see that I also asked my dressmaker friend to make me an extra cushion. Um, it's got good fenders. It's got rear tail lights, a front light. It also has uh, turn signals. It's got a basket. Uh, and again, it's also electric. It has um, manual shift on the handlebar as well as an electric assist. I asked for and got a special feature to have brake, foot brakes because when you only have one arm and you have to uh, manage the gears, the uh, turn signal, the bell, all of that, that, that's sometimes just too much. And so it's really nice to have the ability to break with your feet. So these accessories are really important to me. The turn signal is really important because when you're, you know, riding with one hand, steering with one hand, how do you signal a turn? You know, you just, you just can't. Uh, so these accessories are are all a wonderful feature. Now, to make it, you know, easy and to be able to reach that, they have to pretty much be on one side. Well, then we had the problem of having a lot of weight on one side, which would tip the handlebar and make it out of balance. So we did put the bell over on the right side because that isn't used very much. But in addition, we had to add some weight to the handlebar. And the way we did that was to unscrew this handlebar and then it's hollow on the inside of this handlebar. So then we stuffed down a wad of nylon hose to make a stopper and then filled this with buckshot, put this back on, put the handlebar back on. And that has allowed it to be perfectly balanced. Another thing about balance is it's very stable. The bike is very stable on the flat, but if you happen to uh, come at an angle on an incline, let's say that you are riding on the street and, and there's a driveway that has a little bit of an incline that one of your wheels gets onto, uh, you can feel pretty tippy. So that's one thing that you can't counteract with your body weight like you can a two-wheel bike. So you have to be really cognizant about your steering and trying to keep yourself as flat as possible or a very gentle, solid uh, incline. So be sure of all the safety features. Uh, use mirrors, rear view mirrors. I like mine on the helmet. I'm also thinking about getting one on each handlebar that sticks out from your handlebar. I just think the more that you can see and the more you can be aware, the better. Uh, use reflective lights on your helmet. I've got them on my, my back of my bike, uh, the front of the bike. Just whenever you can, seek out and employ that extra measure of, of safety. So, happy trails. I'll see you on the bike trail.